While staying on the farm last year, all I saw were beautiful, bright, iridescent green hummingbirds. This year, I looked forward to seeing them again, but I haven't seen one of them. I've seen hummingbirds, but the ones that come around so far this year have been very dull, almost colorless. And what's interesting about that is that I was being pushed to work on my masculine side last year. This year, my feminine energy and growth in whatever way interests me and my soul. Turns out those bright, beautiful green hummingbirds are the masculines. The duller versions that I'm seeing this year are the feminines, as well as in the spring and early summer, it's the youths, the younger ones. Now the youths represent the growth that's necessary this year. The females are about working from our feminine energy. And if you're watching this, then you too had some very challenging times that you had to push through last year. What you experienced last year was some of the most difficult times you've ever had to experience. So this year is all about sitting back, getting rest, recovering, and rejuvenating yourself. And while doing so, read a book, watch a video that initiates growth, or take a course to increase your knowledge in an area that's in of interest for you. This year isn't going to be free from challenges, but we'll view it as such by responding more from our feminine side. We climbed a mountain last year. There was a lot of difficult growth in a very short period of time. This year, we're descending down the other side of that mountain. You'll find that you're growing with greater ease this year, but still growing. I'm here to tell you that it wasn't for nothing. There is a very important reason for the extreme expansion. Part of that growth was about attaining the ability to see through your soul's eyes. It starts out happening randomly you'll suddenly see things differently. It's as if you can feel through your vision. You'll only understand that if it started happening for you. With the growth that you'll experience now, you'll be enabled to initiate that ability at will. It allows you to see and feel into what your future will look and feel like. If you're still watching this, then you've either already experienced it or you're about to. What this means is that you're shifting into the most magical time of your life. So sit back, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. You are mastering the techniques of a master manifester. I'm Diane Edwards, and you're watching the Diane Edwards Intuitive Guide channel. We are going to find out here what it is, this new path that we're being placed on that isn't one of our choosing. So obviously the universe is picking us up and moving us onto a different path, moving in a different direction, heading toward our destiny, our goals, our desires, our dreams. Now, the first card we have there is the moon. Now I'm using the Gilded Reverie Lenormand deck they're different. It's a different deck. They're different cards than regular decks. The moon in this deck is very romantic. It's all about love and romance, but it also represents, like in the other decks, the intuition and your psychic abilities. But it's imagination, creativity. Because of the clockwork underneath the moon, it also represents that this moon and you are affected by the mechanics of the universe. So, which means that the universe is in control at this time. The universe is moving you in the best direction for you at this point in time and really wants for you to be recognized for who you are, how you've been, what you've done, all the work you've done, all the, the giving and, and the growing and the evolving. So, it also brings clarity. You have gained wisdom. You have gained clarity because of that wisdom. And that's why the book is here, which is the next card. But right now we're on the moon. That's number 32. It's a five. It's all about change. You are going through changes and it is based on the universe. It's about being recognized and it's about time. The clarity is coming in to 
help you have a better understanding, have the knowledge and the information that you need. But it also is illuminating what you reflect onto it. So when it shows up in a reading, we're being asked to reflect. This is a time for you to just be. It's not a time for you to take action. The universe is taking action. The universe is picking you up and moving you onto that new path. The book, number 26, which breaks down to an eight. This is all about abundance. The book is the book of knowledge and it holds secrets. So there's something coming that you're unaware of. The universe works in mysterious ways and you're not going to see it coming. You don't see it coming. There is something that you need to know. It will become apparent. For me, what it feels like is that what you're dreaming of, what you've been waiting for, what you've been working on and wanting is about to manifest. This is that new path that you're being put on. This is the clarity. This book represents the knowledge, the clarity that's required for you to move forward. This is what's lifting the fog for you. It's knowledge that's necessary. It's information. And it's coming directly to you from the universe. And if you notice on this book, it also has a mechanical dial on its front. We talked about the mechanics of the clockwork on the moon card, meaning that the universe is in charge of everything. The book is in charge of gifting you with the knowledge and the clarity necessary for you to not really move forward so much because you're on a path now where the universe is actually moving you. This isn't your choosing, right? This isn't a path of your choosing. This is the universe placing you onto this path. They're wanting you to trust, to trust that where you're being moved to is a good place. It is the right place. It's what's going to move you forward as far as your dreams and your wishes and your hopes and your destiny is concerned. So in order for you to totally open up and let go and allow the forward movement by the universe, you're being gifted with a better understanding. That's the knowledge that's coming in. It's an understanding of why you're moving in this direction. Maybe a little bit of where it might be taking you. The well card, which is the next card, number 41, which adds up to five. It's all about change. It's talking about wishes and resources. So whatever it is that you're dreaming of and wishing for, it could be a new home, a new car, a new career, being successful in your current career, having financial prosperity and freedom. Whatever it is you're asking for, the resources are coming your way. That's this new path that you're being set down on. It's going to move you in a direction of those resources necessary for you to step into this next phase of your destiny. It's going to help you go deep as well. You need to go deep and see your true thoughts and secret wishes your soul secret wishes. This is also about seeing life through the eyes of your soul. The depths that you're going to be taken to with this well card, this is going to allow you to see through the eyes of your soul. You're going to be taken to depths where your soul's true thoughts and wishes are reflected and revealed. But these are only going to be granted if you dig deep, you have to dig deep. You have to be able to see what it is that the universe wants you to see here, what your soul wants you to see. There are hidden depths here that you haven't seen yet, and that's what's being brought to you. You need to try and stay centered as you move through this. Some of you may feel like you're in a really dark place right now where you've hit rock bottom. But the way you need to look at this at this point in time is that the only way is up. You are about to move up. That's the path that you're on. You're headed for your goal. It is attainable, but it requires a little bit more effort for you. 
and additional resources. And those resources are being brought to you on this path that was not of your choosing. So you have worked hard. You have already worked hard. Your rewards are on their way. You don't have to do anything else but go with the flow and trust and know that it's just a matter of time. You've got this time card here. The time card is at the bottom of the deck. So this is your overall energy and main message around everything else, if you will. And it's number 37, which totaled is a 10. This is an end to any difficulties, any obstacles, any challenges that you've had. Those are being removed. This new path that you're being moved on to, those are being removed. No more blockages. It's time for you to move forward. And that's the time card. It's just all about time. Pay attention to the messages coming through to you at this point in time because the time card being here can represent that something is approaching or it's passing. So that's going to give you the information that you need as far as, okay, this needs to happen. I need to do something. I need to do it now. Or I just need to sit back and kind of wait until the guidance tells me to move forward. Time management is important here. Use the time wisely to provide perspective for you. You will have guidance. You absolutely will have guidance. But know this, this time card also says the clock is ticking. Life is transitory in nature. So savor each moment. Live life to the fullest and live in the moment. This is a reminder of just living, loving, being positive, finding the good in everything that's coming your way. The owl on this card reminds us to use your time very wisely. I know that going through what we've all been going through in the last year or more, it can be depleting because if you're here, then you're going down a parallel path to me. And I know for me, all the hard work that I've done on myself, most of my hard work has been working on my shadow side. We tend to want to just sit back and do nothing and be sad or depressed. You've got to get yourself up. You've got to brush yourself off and you've got to try and keep moving forward. This time card is going to represent something different for each of you. Some of you are going to have to act immediately to receive the benefits that are coming your way. Some of you are going to be asked to take a wait and see approach. It can also mean that you need to take more time for yourself. It can indicate that things are about to speed up as well, which is what I've been feeling. Speed is definitely going to be a factor here. So for majority of us, I believe that everything that's coming to us now that we've been shifted onto this path, once we start moving down this path, things are going to start moving quickly. They're showing me walking down a path and things are being literally thrown onto the path in front of me. I'm not having to do the work anymore. We've done the work. I feel that this time card is talking about number one. It's just a matter of time. There's not a lot of time left here. This is about to take place for you. Now that you're on the right path and this new path and you start moving forward, because keep in mind, the universe is in charge here. The universe is in control of your movement. Follow the guidance. I can't stress that enough. So you're either going to have to move quickly or things around you are going to be moving quickly and landing in front of you. You have to take the opportunity to pick these up and move with them because you're going to have a lot of opportunities falling into your lap moving forward here. And what's interesting about this time card is that it is the overall energy, but it comes into play with the moon, which is a natural timekeeper. Even those of us that are being asked to be a little bit more patient, you're still going to have opportunities land in your lap. Don't waste the opportunities. Pay attention to how things look once you're on this new path. You'll know when you're lifted and set down on this new path. You'll feel it. And once you are, I want you to pay attention to your surroundings. 
they're going to change. They're going to start to look brighter. They're going to start to look more beautiful. You're going to have a feeling of being in a different dimension almost. Like you're still in the same place you've been in for a long time. But it just feels so incredibly different around you. It's not your surroundings that are changing. It's you. Your growth. Your evolution. You are rising up into a new dimension of you. You will notice that. And that's going to be a clear sign to you that you are definitely on this new path. With the clarity that you're being gifted with, you're going to let go of the doubt that you've grown into because it's taken so long for you to see any action in regards to what you've been giving up to this point in time. Once that doubt starts to dissipate, you're going to start to have more confidence and you're going to start to believe in magic. This is all about the exact right time. This is people, opportunities, resources landing in your lap when you need them. This is exact timing. That's why I say you've got to jump on the opportunities. When they land in your lap, you have got to jump on them. You've got to take them. You've got to move forward with them because that's what's going to move you in the direction that your goals are. That's how they're going to be attainable. The universe is going to keep showing you things that are opportunities. If you're looking for a new career, a new job, a new business, that opportunity is going to be shown to you. It's going to land in your lap. If you don't see it, it's going to keep showing up. It's going to keep coming back around until you go, wait a minute. I've been seeing this how many times over the last week? This has got to be something. Take a good look at it. Take a close look. This is going to be a very exciting and bright and wonderful time in your life where you're headed right now. It is going to be a little scary, but that's only because you can't see everything, but you're starting to see more. It's about the newness. When I tell you that you're seeing through the eyes of your soul. You literally are seeing things in such a different way that it almost seems impossible. It can't be happening because it's just so out there. But it's also so cool, so magical. It's going to open you up to the ability to seeing things and feeling them from your future. I know that probably doesn't make any sense. The only people it's going to make sense to are the people that have already experienced that and didn't understand what they were experiencing in that moment. But hang on to this because if you're here, you're meant to be here for this message because I've been guided to deliver this message knowing that the universe is going to bring the right people to my videos. You are about to see things through the eyes of your soul. The experience is incredible. And you'll know it when you feel it. And when you see, you will know it. You're not going to miss it. It's too big. It's way too grand for you to not know that that's what's happening. Now, this time card is also here to tell you that once you start movement on this new path, that is not of your choosing, things are going to pick up and they're going to move very quickly. So sit back, buckle up and enjoy the ride because it's about to get very, very busy, very fast and very exciting and very wonderful and very magical. It's going to blow your mind. I am so happy to be able to deliver this message to those of you that are on a parallel path to me. This is exciting for me too. I have been there for such a long time. And all I can say is, it's about time. And the universe is saying, it's about time. This time card is saying, it's about time. It's happening. You are being shifted onto this new path. You're not going to start moving right away. You have to get integrated onto this new path. You have to 
start being able to see things through the eyes of your soul because that is also what's going to help guide you in the right direction. You're going to get messages. You're going to have synchronicities like you always have. They're just going to start looking and feeling so different. They're going to give you the biggest and truest feeling and knowing that you've ever had. You're going to have a lot of bliss hits moving forward on this path, which again is an absolute yes from your soul that you've got it right. So pay attention to those. This is such a beautiful time that we're all moving into. You're not going to look back. Life is going to change as you know it, and it's going to be so beautiful. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you next Tuesday.